Today we're going to use PowerScripts from C prime to calculate a date field. So what I have in my examples project, at the, uh, I created this days due field and it just has values one going up to 31. And what we're going to try to do is calculate the due date of an issue when it's created based on today's date and this value you select in the in the days due so if we pick say 10 for example we want the due date to be 10 days from today and that's what we're going to do so we're going to do that by creating a post function so we're going to come in here we're going to edit our workflow I'm going to look for the create transition and we'll add a post function. We already have one from another video, but we'll go ahead and add it onto this thing. Won't hurt each other. So we're looking for sill post function, which is a simple issue language from PowerScripts. We'll create a new script. We'll call it um, add days to due date. And we'll put it in our post functions folder. So what we need to know is the ID of our custom field. So let's see if I can show this to you. We'll come back now. So I'm configuring the custom field here, and you can see up here in the URL, the custom field ID 10703, and that's what we need. come back to this so custom field one zero seven zero three well actually that's wrong first we need to figure out what today is and we do that with the current date function. So what we want to do is we want to set the value of due date and since we're in a workflow we're in the context of an issue we don't need to say what the due date is what issue the due date is for we can just say due date equals current date plus some value. So first we need to calculate that value. So what I'm going to do is create an interval field. And we'll just say interval i equals and we'll snag the value of this custom field and we'll just specify just in case that we want to make sure this is a string and we'll say plus D for days. So we're gonna say, so if, like, for the example, if they picked 10 in that dropdown for 10 days, this is just gonna say 10 D, which is the interval syntax for 10 days. And then we'll say current date plus I. So, whoop, that's one. So it'll just say the due date is today plus whatever the value in days of custom field 10703. Looks good. And we need to make sure this is towards the bottom because 
as you can see this is where it creates the issue originally and you can't modify the date of an issue if it's not if it's not created in the first place so I like to keep mine down towards the bottom just so I can make sure all the other housekeeping is done in advance before we we fire our postscripts so I'll say publish and no and let's give it a shot and cross our fingers that this works now I'm not going to set the due date but I do need to come down and let's say 10 like our example Okay, so create a date. It says just now. There we go. The 17th of October. And you can see our due date is the 27th of October. So that is how you calculate a date field using C Prime's PowerScripts. Thanks for watching.